So now we're going to talk about handheld shooting. And most of the time, this is how I shoot. Your hands are fairly stable, and if you have a lot of light out as we do now, you crank up the shutter speed, and typically, just like this, you're able to get a fairly clean shot. So let's say it's nighttime, and you're needing to open up your f-stop, maybe go to a slower shutter speed, and you're starting to get a little bit of blur in your images. A great way to go about that is using your environment or using your strap. Um, the most, like a tripod, the most stable way is having three or more points of contact. So here, without the strap, you only have two points of contact. You're automatically going to go like this and be dipping. When you hold it here though, you get a third point of contact, which is really helpful. Another way, a technique I commonly use is putting my shoulders in and that really helps you get a nice stable shot. With that, you know, test it yourself, but you can go down to one eighth a second even and still get a nice clean image. Granted, anything moving in your image will have a slight blur, which can look really cool sometimes. When shooting with larger lenses, it's really helpful to have a hand on your lens. It's actually a, um, not only good for your photo, but it's also good for your camera. This lens adds a lot more weight to the mount and it can cause damage if you're holding it just from the back too much. So you want two hands on there, get the support and be able to get right in there. Another great technique is using burst mode or continuous shooting. It's where your camera takes multiple photos simultaneously. What this allows you to do is make sure that you get the shot, whatever the moment is, and also get it in focus, get the right composition, not spend time, take one photo, look at it, oh, go take it again. Well, maybe your subject's left already. So using continuous really allows you to get multiple shots at once. And ultimately, it gives you more chances that one of those photos will be sharp and be the photo that you wanted to get. So as you get into professional photography, you'll find yourself using nicer, nicer lenses. And a really great feature that some of these lenses have is image stabilization, or as Nikon calls it, vibration reduction. What this allows you to do is shoot at much longer lenses, so 200 millimeter, and still have a, a steady shot. Because a lot of the times when you get really tight, you'll sort of be moving a lot, and these basically reduce that movement and make it a little bit cleaner for you. Typically, here on the side, you'll have stabilizer on and off, and it's, it's really useful to actually go and test that and see what the difference is um, with it on and off. So I hope you enjoyed these tips for handheld shooting, and ultimately, the best thing you can do is go get a tripod, go get a monopod, go get a nice long telephoto lens, and practice.